Hello and welcome to Laura Fenton Gaming Reviews Animal Crossing New Horizon. I'm your reviewer, Laura Fenton. In today's review of Animal Crossing New Horizon, we're going to ask the burning question Is Animal Crossing New Horizon worth playing or it does suck? So we're going to answer those questions with the good, the okay, and the uh, bad. So let's go ahead and begin the review, shall we? Now, let's go ahead and talk about character creation. You're wondering, where's Rover? Well, guess what? They got rid of that. No more questions and hope your character doesn't look ugly. Instead, you control that. Nintendo gave you control. Now, you do get more eyes and uh, such later on through Nook Miles. So, you have different eye looks. You have di uh, different eye colors, hair, different hair colors, different hairstyles, mouth, even pigment of your skin. Yeah, you heard me right. Different pigment skin colors. You get to choose your island. You don't like the four. Terraforming will take care of that for you. So, I felt like character creation and island choosing is a huge improvement over the other games. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the graphics and detail of the characters and the surrounding areas in the uh, game. Let me tell you, they did a wonderful job. You're thinking, wait a second, this is a Nintendo tile. They're not specializing graphics. Well, guess what? I'm just doing improvements from the one Animal Crossing to another. For example, I zoom in on Isabel on purpose. She looks like she has fur, and it's really uh, good, though. I mean, it looks really uh, good. I mean, this is a great improvement. So, besides that, I'm going to go ahead and show the outside of town that they uh, did improvements, too. So no more blockiness, no more genericness. Instead, it looks great. And I'm going to be honest, they did a wonderful uh, job. So I'm going to zoom in again and show you the leaves and the uh, branch and also the bark of the tree. Yeah, you see those leaves are like different colors because it's red. You see that. And also the uh, bells. Yeah, you see the shine on that. So I felt like Nintendo knocked it out of the ballpark with the graphics, and especially the design of the characters and uh, more. Let's talk about the controls real quick. They did a wonderful uh, job of them. You had three year options. You could use the Joy-Cons. You could go in handheld mode with the controls. Also, you could use the Pro Controller. You move around your character. You move up and down, which is uh, good. Buttons are easy to push. It's accessibility, which is uh, nice. And you know, the uh, menu's there. You can move around the menu with ease. I mean, this is like a nice step up from the uh, previous game, especially from the Wii version. Yeah, that was a little bit of a nightmare with the uh, nunchuck. Not in this game. They made things much more easier and simpler to uh, do. Also, what's nice is, is uh, the uh, wheels. Yeah, the wheels have access to your uh, tools and your remotes. And with the controls in this game, it makes things a lot more easier. See, really easy. So the controls in this game and accessibility is a huge plus to me. Now, what I think about the main island in the game, oh my goodness, it is uh, great. You're in control of where you put the houses, where you put the stores, where you put anything else, museum too. You start off on the main island like this one, and you're going, okay, how am I going to get across? Well, you continue through the story, eventually you get the pole vault, and you get more freedom. And then after that, you get a ladder to go up. Yeah, you heard me right. You go up a cliff this time with a ladder, and... In the other Animal Crossing games, you see a cliff that's most likely a wall. That's not the case. Now, before the uh, July 1.3.0 patch, the uh, invisible wall was actually the ocean. Well, you got freedom to actually go in the uh, ocean. And that's good. Also, you get to plant trees anywhere. And it's easier to plant things on an island. Yeah, no more a uh, little bit rottage. And that is uh, wonderful. I mean, that is uh, spectacular. I mean, I really uh, love the improvements in the uh, game. Not only that, here's one more big improvement. You can put furniture down, believe it or not. Yeah, you see, I terraformed this part of the island just to have a nice uh, wedding stand. Yeah, and that's great. I mean, you get to customize wherever you want. You could turn the whole island into a graveyard. You could turn the whole island into a big old restaurant. You turn it into a nice bustling uh, neighborhood. You do whatever you want on this island. You got almost uh, total control and freedom. And that's the right step in this uh, game. Bravo Nintendo.
How do I feel about the villagers in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Oh my goodness, they are great. They have their own uh, lifestyle. They talk to other villagers. And um, let's see what else they do. They fish, they catch bugs, which is good. They lay by the tree. That's a new thing they uh, do. They sing. That's a very new thing. And it's uh, funny seeing that. They also work out. They have their own routines. And here's one thing you could also do. You talk to Isabel, kick out certain villagers you do not like. For example, you do not like Sally. She's constantly being a pain. You could kick her out. And there's good ways to get villagers. And let me explain. You uh, get them by placing uh, house plots down. They randomly come by. You get them from Mysterious Island. If you keep on constantly convincing them to come over. Then there's the uh, campgrounds. You get them from there too. Who are randomly. Well, guess what? You can control the campgrounds too on what uh, villagers that come into it with those amiibo cards. Yeah, you use those amiibo cards to uh, bring them in. Just use it on the controller and voila, that's it. So the villagers are a huge step up. Let's go ahead and talk about DIY do-it-yourself. This is a new feature in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And let me tell you, everyone. They did a wonderful job of adding this in the game. So you can make your own tools as long as you have the, enough materials. Housewares, you can place inside your house and outside on the island. Stuff you can put on the table, wall mounts, uh, wallpaper floors, rugs, things you can wear, purses too, umbrellas, medicine, fish bait, anything else miscellaneous, seasonal items. You could even favorite your stuff you want to make. So you want quick access to those tools, favorite them. And it's really easy, simple to do as long as you have enough materials. And this is like uh, nice. I mean, I really love the DIY stuff. It's uh, what you want in a game like this. And you uh, get your uh, DIY recipe from players. Meshes in a bottle on the uh, beach from villagers. Yeah, you'll see that in a bit. You get them from uh, balloons. You also sometimes get them from special events. The uh, Nook Miles machine. And uh, more. So here's one thing. This is very uh, nice about getting it from the uh, villagers. They'll uh, build something in their home. You speak with them. You say yes. You get it. If you already have it, well, guess what you could do with it? You could trade those uh, DIY recipes with other players. Drop them on the ground. That other player picks it up. Same thing with the other player. If you need something from them, they drop a DIY recipe. What you want, you pick them up. And this is like very valuable. I mean, this will like enforce online play much more. So I felt like DIY was a huge new addition and Nintendo did DIY right. And you cannot go wrong with that. The Nook phone. Now in other Animal Crossing games, sometimes the menu stuff has been separated. Well, guess what everyone? The Nook phone is a nice organized piece of equipment. So simply pull out your phone, you get to pick where you want to do. For example, you get to take pictures. You could do anything what you want with those. Smile, have uh, pictures of uh, Nook and Isabel working, or in case Isabel's sleeping, and send them on social media. Also, uh, what's nice is the Nook Miles. You could get some good things from it. More things you uh, do, more Nook Miles you uh, get. Sometimes you do milestones. You get Nook Miles for that. And let me tell everybody this now. The Nook Miles is a new great system. And I felt like it makes you play the game more. Now there's Creerpedia. You have your uh, bug collection, your fish collection, and your uh, deep sea creature collection. Thanks to the July 2020 update. And uh, you select that uh, certain creature you want to look at. It tells you your season, activity, and it also shows you if it's been donated to the museum or not. And your DIY section is really nice. It could tell you uh, what you uh, need to uh, create and uh, more. I mean, this is like a, a nice um, utility to use. I mean, look at that. You could get organized. There's your island designer. I'll explain that later on. And then your custom design, same thing too. See, I got my 8-bit link in there. I can access that right away. There's your map too, so you do not get lost at all. It could tell you all the important buildings and your residence, including your main character. And there's also your chat log in case you have people over. Yeah, I spelled hi wrong. Big old whoops. Here's your passport too. This was a fun section. Now there's one more thing I did like they uh, did add. This is very good, especially for beginning game. Rescue service. You get stuck, you get unstuck. It costs uh, Nook miles, but oh well. And with the Nook phone, it's the Nook miles you earn. 
And you can get to get some nice things too from uh, DIY recipes you can't get, customizable phone kits, Nook Miles tickets, and also uh, other stuff. So I felt like the Nook phone with the Nook Miles system is a great improvement and it keeps you playing, which you uh, definitely want in that game. Now, there is an old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, guess what? Animal Crossing New Horizons did just that. And did some nice little improvements on the side, too. So your ABD machine's back. And you also could get uh, stuff from uh, the Nook shopping, too. For example, you could get uh, posters, which is new. Seasonal items is new. Special items you cannot get normally. And there's also items you previously bought. You could get, reorder those, too. So you could give it to your friend. And there's categories, even the KK Slayer songs are there uh, too, you previously, or so you give it someone else. You can look for stuff. For example, you need a mask on your character. Yeah, you heard me right. You need a mask. Go ahead and type the word mask. We're going to do uh, just that. See, that's how easy it is. So we're going to buy the doctor's mask. And there you go. They usually come the next day, which is very uh, good. So that's a nice improvement they did with the D, um, we call the ABD machine so far. Let's talk about the uh, stuff with the uh, actual uh, deposit withdrawal and pay for rent. Already paid for my house, so you could do that at the machine. You could deposit money, withdraw money, and it's really simple and easy. And the uh, community center is open 24-7, which is uh, great too. I mean, that was wonderful. You speak to Isabel and Nook on certain things. For example, Isabel, you speak you know, on, uh, you want to change your ch town tune, which they uh, kept the uh, flag. Also, uh, Island evals Nook, improvements on your house, and also uh, what to do, inclines to uh, get. Your watering flowers is still there, which is uh, good. Shaking trees, they still kept that. Digging holes, and while you're at it, go and hit that money rock, yeah. You get money rocks or you get resources, and that's uh, good. And it's still the same, though. You get around, boom, that's a nice bonus. They even uh, tie your uh, Nook Miles to that, which is nice, really nice. And uh, I'm going to say this right now. They did a wonderful job in the game keeping the uh, stuff that you actually uh, love. So let's go ahead and talk about the uh, next thing. The museum is back, and it's better than ever. Let me uh, tell you all this. I'm glad it's still back. You still do the same service. For example, identifying fossils. Blair still has his phobia of bugs. Yes, he does. And you can also donate fishes, bugs, and the new uh, deep sea creatures. The bug section is wonderful. Go in the butterfly room and it's full, filled up. It looks uh, nice. And as for the fossils, let me tell you, they are grand. Look at that. See, you see the fossils. And I'm going to be honest, I love that section. Now, the fish tanks. Oh man, they are really uh, cool. And also, if you go to the plaques, it tells you who I donated them and when they donated them. So that's like a step up. And thanks to the red slash leaf patch, the uh, art gallery, yeah, that's there too. You have to wait a day for a museum to have access. That's the only bad part, but still, anything you uh, donate in there from the art gallery to the art gallery, I should say, yeah, it's uh, be beautiful. As for Nook's crannies, well, that's there. Yeah, it starts out as a small shop and then it becomes a regular store. It has two upgrades. I should say, actually, total of two, to be correct. And that's uh, nice. Probably uh, more updates will be updating it better. You also have your turnip prices. And what's new is the hot item. So you sell something for double the price, which is um, neat because you can make more money. Make more bells, the better it is. You can also sell to the nooklings, which is a... Uh, Nice. I mean, it's the same system. They didn't uh, mess with it. And that's the thing. Wherever it ain't broke, you don't fix. They also store the tools, the uh, present uh, stuff to wrap your presents, the seeds, and other uh, stuff like wallpaper, etc. in one place. The items on display is still the same. And there's the item of the day. Yeah, get that. And if you uh, buy those items, there you go. Go bye-bye. As for the Able Sisters, oh, let me uh, tell you, they did nice improvements. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go inside. Now, besides buying the clothes on the uh, stand, well, you could buy a set of clothes on the stand too, as long as they're displayed. So you buy those uh, display ones, they're uh, nice. You could talk to Sable, she gives you free stuff. And I'm gonna tell you right now, those free stuff is really nice for customization on your uh, furniture. There's also uh, those uh, patterns that uh, you could put your own on there. So this way, 
you have your own type of tailor shop and all and here's what they did that is uh absolutely new and i love yeah the try the room yeah this room you could try out clothes you could look like a member of the uh, pittsburgh uh, pirates you could look like a flashy person the gambler and also in this game they uh, kept this the your home uh, fruit yeah for example my home fruits cherries you can import others in if you find the type of fruit you can also dig up for fossils yeah they kept that the same and the uh, money tree yeah that's the same too so i felt overall that the uh, stuff that you love in this uh, game it's still in this uh, new version of animal crossing and that's a big thing Let's go ahead and talk about the very beginning of the video. I show you the four islands. You're thinking, oh, okay, they're the, I'm going to be able to have one of those. Well, guess what? You get to design your own island with the Island Designer app. After you beat the story, what will happen is you get the Island Designer app. When you buy more stuck stuff in the uh, Nook Miles uh, kiosk, well, guess what? You get more options. You can request cleanup or start construction. So if you want to, for example, make your own uh, cafe, you uh, go ahead and do it. It's very easy. Select the Island Designer app. Make sure you wear your safety hat. Yeah. Yeah, they'll make you wear it. So don't worry. You don't lose your tools. The inventory system is great in this game too. So you uh, pick uh, where you want to put down. So I'm doing a stone path. So what I'm going to do is set up my future cafe area. So you go right there. Just keep on doing it. It's very easy. One button, swipe. One button, your character swipes again. So it's, I mean, you do so many things with it. Many people have so many wonderful islands because of it. You also uh, do it one more time in the same spot. It gets curvy. So I felt like the island design app is the right step in direction in this uh, game. Let's talk about the tools in the game. Besides your inventory where you get to hold a lot more things. Well, guess what? Your tools got a nice improvement, and you also get some new tools too. For example, the pole vault, you get a vault over ponds and rivers, which is uh, nice. And here's a thing that is also uh, good is the ladder. So you can reach higher places on uh, cliffs, see? You go up and down, and that's uh, cool. And now here's the thing about the wand. You get to change it into your clothes that you like. The uh, old favorites are back too. For example, the uh, bug catching net. Yeah, that's there too. The fishing rod is uh, there uh, too. Yeah, come on little guy. We'll get uh, to go fishing for a bit. Yeah, that's there uh, too. And let's see what else uh, they did some nice improvements on. And the shovel's there. So you, you could uh, bang rocks, dig up flowers, and more. Now here's a nice thing about the uh, shovel too. You eat a fruit. And what happens is you dig up a tree and voila, you get to actually relocate without chopping down and playing a new one. The slingshot's back, you shoot down balloons, and balloons have recipes, money, and furniture. The watering can returns, and when it sparkles the flowers, yeah, it's an easy indicator. The axe, oh my goodness, there are two great categories. The iron axe chop down trees, while the stone axe harvest them, so it's another great way to get resources from uh, trees. So here's other things they uh, did a great uh, job on. They add too is umbrellas. Yes, this way you don't get rain on. And then the uh, musical instruments you get to hold. For example, this nice old tambourine. See, look at that. My guy's having fun. Now there's durability on your tools. After a certain amount of uses, they break. For example, 15 on flimsy, 30 on your normal, and 100 on your uh, gold stuff. Now, since the July 2020 uh, patch for Animal Crossing New Horizons, they added underwater diving. So you got your swimsuit. So this is uh, nice for a new tool. So I felt like the tools is a huge step up and many improvements they did. The event characters and the ones you uh, get weekly randomly, they did a good job on. That's what Nintendo did. So what else they uh, do with the event and the... Uh, other uh, weekly characters, well, guess what? They also kept the holiday characters. For example, the Easter one. Yeah, Zippy the uh, Bunny. Yeah, you have fun with that. Now, in future updates, they'll add other holidays. So I'm hoping the Halloween one does return. Since those Halloween ones were uh, very uh, nice. It was the best uh, holiday, too. Now, here's a new thing that they uh, did. Yeah, a very neat thing. They added CJ and Flick. So you sell bugs to uh, Flick. You get, like, more money for them. You sell uh, fish to CJ after you do his task. Well, guess what? You get more money from him, too. Now, both CJ and uh, Flick 
What's really uh, nice is if you turn in the same uh, fish to them, you get statues. Yeah, they'll come a day later. You set those statues inside your house or outside uh, your house. So I felt like they did a huge improvement in that. They also have fishing tournaments and bug offs too. That returned too. So here's the thing I feel about this uh, events and of course guest characters and more in this section. Nintendo knocked it out of the ballpark and you cannot go wrong with these uh, characters. Let's talk about the home. First of all, when you enter the game, you start off in your humble tent with your very limited amount of stuff you could carry inside. Also, uh, set up as furniture. Then you get this big daddy. And if you visit Tom Nook, you also design the uh, outside of your house, including your mailbox, which is a nice step up. Now, here's the thing. They made happy home design simple. A uh, certain amount of threshold of points you uh, get, you get items. So this way, you can put them on the walls. You can see that in a few moments. And also, they uh, kept the same things for happy home design. For example, if you have uh, event item sets, you put them in your house, you get more points. You put furniture the wrong way, you get dock points. So here's the nice thing about saying your own home. It's on the, on the walls now. Yeah, you get wall mounting. And this is nice. You also get rugs too. That's a new thing in the game they did add is rugs. You also uh, go to your wardrobe to get quick access to your clothes. Your storage, oh my goodness. It holds a lot more, more than any other Animal Crossing game. So more you upgrade your house, more storage you get. 1,600 is the max. They may add more, though, in the future. So I felt like HHA and home improvements step up. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the custom designs. Oh, my goodness. So easy to access from your Nook phone. You get to make some good things. You make some clothes. You get to make uh, custom design hats now. That is neat. Like, for example, I got my 8-bit link. That's my mascot flag of the town. You can also use those custom designs to switch out any of these uh, clothing you don't like. For example, you don't like this one. You can switch it out for that 8-bit link or uh, better yet. If you're really talented, you just made that nice nest shirt from uh, Earthbound. You can swap that out, too. I mean, the world's your oyster. You can use the internet kiosk to help you with those custom designs. And players all over the world are very talented, and they can make some neat things. I mean, this game allows you to do that, and it expands it even more. I mean, I'm personally, it's like one of my favorite things in the game is seeing other people's custom designs. And those designs are uh, wonderful. Nintendo did a great job of it. Not only you can be able to customize your clothing, you can also customize your phone with the customizable phone kit you get from the Nook Points kiosk. So you go ahead, use your custom design, and select which one you want. You could use like 8-bit link I did. You could put the Neverwinter uh, Eye on there. You could put Ness on there. You can even put Mario on there. There's so much things you could do. And that's neat with the phone too. So when you use your uh, phone, good old Link's on there. Yep, you see that right? Or Mickey Mouse, depending on which custom design you have. And one more thing I like to drive home. They still kept that you could use your custom design as the flag. So 8-bit Link's like my mascot for now. So Nintendo did a great job of custom designs and opened up a whole new world. Now, before I do talk about the sound, I'm going to just go ahead straight up show everybody the music since it's wonderful. So let's go ahead and hear this music. That's a sample of the music you get to listen to in the game. Your character could sing, your character could run around, you hear that too. So overall, the music and sound. I do enjoy in this uh, game. Let's talk about the bugs, fishes, and the new addition since the July 2020 patch, Deep Sea Creatures. Oh yeah, they're in the uh, game, and they're actually fun to uh, catch still. They brought back that old tradition of catching up the bugs from trees, on the ground, flying around, etc. Same thing with the uh, fishes, for example, in the ocean. You could uh, catch uh, any size fish, including ones with fins. That could be sharks. And if it's rain, you could catch a calliope. They still kept that in there. You could also fish in the rivers and the ponds too, which I think is uh, nice. Really, really uh, nice. And 
thanks to the July 2020 uh, patch, you could do deep sea diving. And you get many things on, in the uh, water, such as Gigas uh, Giant Clams and even Sea Star. So I felt like Nintendo kept the uh, good stuff. And then when they added deep sea uh, creature catching, they did much better. Let's go ahead and talk about online gameplay. I felt like they did a pretty good job, Nintendo, of doing this. You can either host or join someone else's town. Just go to Dodo Airlines, talk to this person. If you want to host, simply uh, talk to them. You have internet gameplay. You do need Nintendo access. However, local play you could do too. If their Switch is close by, you can set up Dodo codes to uh, be protective or not. Same thing if you join someone else, make sure you have the Dodo code. So I felt like Nintendo did a great job of uh, adding online gameplay to uh, this uh, game. Let's go ahead and talk about the Mysterious Island and Harv's Island. I'm going to be honest, they are both uh, fun. I mean, especially Harv's Island, so this way you could do so many good things. First of all, you talk to a Dodo airline person, and once you uh, do that, you have a choice of your, uh, if you have a Nook Miles ticket, use that to go to Mysterious Island or go to Harv's Island. So we're going to go ahead and go to Harv's Island. So here's how I feel about that. This is nice. I mean, really good for social media, too. So simply talk to Harv. Tell him, hey, I want to go in and take some pictures so I can send it up on Twitter or Facebook. And, yeah, you could do that. You go inside the studio. Then once you are inside, then you uh, go uh, set up your uh, set. You can also invite your villagers, your friends over. You heard me right. Yeah, your uh, real-life friends. They can all be in a picture together. I've seen pictures like this all over the internet, and it's even easy to uh, set things up. As long as you have the uh, furniture, you could do this. So, for example, I'm going to put down this uh, bamboo stool. It's real easy. I can also pick villagers in the picture, too. So if I have a favorite villager, we can act like we're hanging out at a sports bar, having a good time, or uh, just chilling. I mean, it's really simple, really easy. You can bust out your camera afterwards, take some nice pictures. There's some special events that they did in the June 2021. Reese and Cyrus's wedding was there. You took some nice wedding pictures. And now here's the neat thing about how to get to the Mysterious Island. The Nook Miles. Yep, you heard me right. There's another use for those Nook Miles. At the cost of uh, 2,000 uh, Nook Miles, you get yourself a nice Nook Miles ticket. You go to Mysterious Island. Now the Mysterious Island is very random. You could have a Bamboo Island. You could have a island full of... Uh, we call scorpions. You can also have those islands full of uh, rocks to uh, bang, or a regular island. You can have also uh, those type of islands that are rare for fishes and bugs, which is good. I got lucky on a bamboo island, so you get to tear things up if you want to or preserve them. You also get rare fruits, and if you're lucky, bananas. And one thing is you get uh, villagers you cannot normally get here too. Invite them over to your main island. And they'll live on your main island. So I felt like Harv's Island and the Mysterious Island Tour is uh, wonderful. And people should experience this. With Nintendo post-game support, you get your returning characters and new characters. Like, for example, your returning characters Leaf and Red. Also, you get recent Cyrus and uh, more. Also, uh, skins of other uh, characters, like for example, instead of like normal Gulliver, now you get Pirate Gulliver to get some pirate stuff. So, how do I feel about Nintendo's post game content? It is wonderful. What sealed the deal for me was the uh, July 2020 update where you go, uh, go back into diving. Yeah, just like a new leaf. And you could catch your uh, sea creatures, which is cool. You also catch scallops. And your good old friend Pascal is there. So if you uh, trade your uh, scalp to Pascal, what happens is you either get a pearl or better yet a mermaid DIY recipe. So this way you get more of those uh, points. You heard me right. More of those HHA points. So I felt like the uh, content support from Nintendo is wonderful and uh, great. So you should experience it. So you definitely want to get the game for post-game content. Well, this is the game for you. And I'm going to say this personally, besides Pascal, I love Pirate Gulliver. He's a riot, and plus the pirate set is good. So here's the thing, Nintendo. Bravo, and well done on your post-release content.
let's talk about the story, aka masking the uh, yeah, you gotta pay your rent type of business. It's okay at best. There are a few good pocket moments like at the end, but some of it is really just disguised as yeah, you just gotta farm this stuff out. And it's all right. It's it's like another uh, tutorial uh, too. It's not good. It's not bad. It's average at uh, best. That's all I can say about it. Let's go ahead and talk about the glaring issue with DIY. So when you go in a DIY bench, you're thinking, oh, I can make so many things at once. For example, I want to make about six fish bait. Well, guess what, everyone? You can only f***ing make one. You heard me right, right? One at a f***ing time. What the f***? I mean, come on. You did so many neat other things in the game, Nintendo. You should just uh, have the option to actually do it, say, for example, six at once. Instead, it's one at a time. You can speed this up, but still, it does get tedious after a while. So, that's my disappointment in uh, this part of the uh, game so far. Let's go ahead and talk about the five star system. Oh my goodness. It is not that great. It is really tedious. And at times, Isabel doesn't get her right. Yeah, you heard me right. She'll say, Yeah, you need more fencing. My village has so much fencing, it is not funny. I mean, come on. Still, it's uh, the only thing that is really worth it at the end is the uh, gold watering can recipe. And yeah, that's about it. Still, you get five stars. That is great, but it takes a lot of work. It's just poor explanation from Isabel. Now, one of my issues with online gameplay is it's very simple. It's been carry on since the beginning of Animal Crossing series when it has online play. Your sh is not protected. Yeah, you heard me right. For example, your trees are not protected. They could get chopped down. Like, for example, this little f could chop all your trees down, especially your hard-earned uh, peach trees. And you're like going, what the f What's worse is this little f***er could also uh, do is uh, plan to uh, dig up your stuff, run through your garden, also steal all the money from your money tree just to grief. Yeah, you could protect your but still, someone could befriend you, then they could betray you, and that's kind of f Nintendo should have did was is actually uh, add the option of protecting your flowers, your trees, or anything else so it would not be shaken. So yeah, I'm disappointed in that due to lack of protection of your hard-earned goods. What is my final verdict on Animal Crossing New Horizons? It is Game of the Generation with a score of 11 out of 10. Despite the little quirks and problems with this game, it is actually really fun. You could bring your uh, friends over, you could have a blast, you could bring them to a mysterious island. You could talk with your villagers, you could catch fish, you could uh, capture bugs too, you could donate things to a museum. And it's a great game. With Nintendo's constant support of th this game, it is wonderful. I advise if you're going to buy a Switch, this is the very first game you should definitely get it for. Well, this is it for my Animal Crossing New Horizon review video. This is Lorfent signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left. And on the bottom left, if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.